All right, in this ROS2 tutorial, I will show you how to create and use a launch file from a package. I'll go through the steps from creating the package, making the launch file, go over the code for the launch file, build the package, and run the launch file. If you're new to my channel, I teach OpenCV, Computer Vision, Python, C++, Git, ROS2, SOLIDWORKS, Mechanical Design, and I have a GitHub that goes along with it. So subscribe to learn more. So let's go ahead and create our package. So we're going to cd into our ROS2 uh, workspace source folder and then create our package called pylaunchexample. So after we run that, we're going to see our package here has been created, pylaunchexample. Then what we're going to do is create a launch directory inside. So we have a launch folder here. And then once we do that, we want to update our setup.py file. So Let's go take a look at our setup.py file here. So the part that we added is this import OS and from glob import glob. So what this will do is actually allow us to search for anything that has um, the name structure of a launch file. So just going to go ahead and copy this and then go into our setup.py file. Um, just going to update that. So copy paste the content. And then if we go back to here, um, after we do that, uh, we want to move our launch file into our source pylaunch example launch folder. So let's go ahead and copy that. And I'll go over the script. It's a pretty simple one. Um, but here we paste it. We're going to copy and paste it over. Um, so again, if you're here, it's better to right click copy because sometimes uh, it won't copy if you use control C for some reason. But here we can see we copied it over. And here what we have is import launch and import launch ros.actions. So as we can see, the general structure is we have a def generate launch description, and we're going to be returning launch.launch .launch description. And inside, we're going to be actually returning a launch ros actions, and this is going to be of type node. So the parameters that we're setting is package, which is going to be demo node CPP, the executable is going to be talker, and the name will be talker. So this will be our launch file, which we will be using. And then once we have it in there, we can go ahead and build our package. So we're going to go to our ROS2 workspace, and then Cole can build our package. So if I go ahead and run this, this will build our package. So after a few seconds, it will complete. Then we could finally run our launch file. So here we're going to source and then run our launch file here. So if I go ahead and run this, we should see um, our hello world being executed. So this shows that our launch file is working. So in our next video, we're going to talk about launch file substitution. So if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.